hey there thank you so much for clicking my video in today's video i have three wigs in the same style but different color and it brought to you by here so flash shop i'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also their direct store the wig that i have is ultra melted hairline synthetic lace front wig in the style jenny the colors that i have is color 2 dr2 ginger brown and dr4 sandy blonde This is what the inside of the color 2 looks like. They pretty much all come the same. You get two combs in the front, not too far from the temple. Another comb and nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material is a stretch fit, breathable material. They also inserted a elastic band so you could get an extra secure fit. The parting space comes in the middle. The lace is coming off gray on my skin. I'm going to try my best to tint it to my skin color. And the texture of the hair is a coarse, wavy texture. This is what the color 2 looks like straight out of the box. The hairline on these wigs come pre-plucked and you get baby hairs from ear to ear. Right here, I'm just taking my Andis hot comb and the temperature that I have it on is number five. I'm just pressing out the roots of the hair because a lot of you know I don't really like when the hair lays in my face. And I'm gonna go in and press out that parting space too. And make sure the temperature of your hot tool isn't too high because it can change the texture of the hair and make it really silky. If you are a super beginner and you don't know how to cut off the extra lace, you just take your scissors and pull the baby hairs back and take your time and cut right along the hairline. To help save some time in the video, I'm just letting you know, whatever I did to the color number two is the same thing that I did to the rest of the colors. One thing I don't like about these wigs is how one side of the curls don't match the other side. The left side is way more feathered and curl than the right side, but I'm still gonna try to make it work. So now I'm gonna take this Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 355, and I take this powder and apply it underneath the lace. Sorry that I didn't get the clip of how it looks underneath the lace. I thought I did, but you just take the powder and wipe it underneath the lace. Now it's time for the installs. Hey y'all. Right now I have my Glee made bonnet. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this bonnet. You can wear it on the pink side or you can wear it on the black side. I love this bonnet and it stays on at night. First up is the color number two. And like I said before, the texture of these wigs is wavy, but it still have a soft feeling to it. So I'm going to use a brown nude stocking cap underneath. So far, after trying on the wig, the air tabs is a little bigger than my ears. If you have a problem with that, just go in and cut off some of the air tab. I might leave it because I might sell it, so I don't want to cut the air tab too short. But I might keep it. I don't know yet. Anyway, the lace is still coming off gray on my skin. So I'm going to take this foundation that I use to contour. And it's just a little bit darker than me. And I use just a little bit of this, like the remaining amount of foundation that's on the brush. I'm just rubbing it on top of the lace. I don't want to put too much because then it'll make the lace look really dry and not realistic. You can go in and install this wig if you want to. I'm not going to because I have other wigs to do. So I'm just going to make this a wig show and tell of the texture, style, and color. But I'm going to go in and style just a few baby hairs on my forehead. Something simple, just two baby hairs on my temple.
All right, the year here is my end results on the color number two in the style Jenny by Otre. And this is really cute, really nice for every day. Loving the hair texture. It looks really realistic. It just looked like a blowout with some curls done with the round brush. It's really cute. And you can see that texture all up in there. The length of this wig on me, I would say, is about 14 inches. My height is 5'6". As for a shine, I don't feel like this wig come off shiny. I feel like the shine is pretty low. But if you don't like the shine, you can always go in and zip it down with dry shampoo. As for the hair density, it is very full. It's really thick, so beware of that. The curls that come on the wig, I barely touched it. I just finger combed the front. I actually like the curls that it comes with. It looks really nice, like I just got my hair done. Is this wig big head friendly? To me, it is definitely big head friendly. I have a lot of stretch cap room left in there. But if you have a small head, just take the elastic band on the inside and just knot the end so you get an extra snug fit if it's just not secure enough. If I was to wear this wig, I would definitely go in and spray down the ear tabs because it just needs something to keep it down if you're gonna wear this and it's like a lot of wind blowing outside. The parting space comes really nicely plugged. Something about the front, you can see like a little T going on right there. I don't know. I'll probably have to go in and cover that up with some black powder. But otherwise, it's not bad. I really like this color. It's so natural looking and really nice for every day. Let me know your thoughts on the color number two. Okay, so this is the DR2 Ginger Brown color. And something about this color is just a little bit more thicker than the color two. I wish they took out like at least a track or two at the top area. I just wish it wasn't as full because it's making my head look big. But otherwise, the color is so beautiful. You can see the little dimensions in it with the orange and then the dark copper with a little bit of black. It's so cute. They did a good job on that. I love how the roots fade into the color. There's no harsh line of demarcation. The curls on this is really soft and natural looking as well. As for the texture, it looks really natural. Really, really natural. This one is definitely big head friendly. There isn't a size difference in these wigs. They all fit the same. Again, length I would say is about 14 inches. I like how I split the hair in the back. There isn't any track showing. The shine looks really good on this wig too. It doesn't have a high luster. I like this color a lot. I always love the DR2 Ginger Brown color with Otre. I just wish this one wasn't as thick on me. Like. Ugh, it's just really thick but otherwise the lace blends in really nicely with my skin and something about that parting space is a little crooked just a little crooked but it's still fun it can rock let me know if you have any questions on this too
All right, so I'm letting you guys know right here, right now, I messed up the sandy blonde color and I'm so sad because I was on a roll. I was going somewhere and I felt like the front needed just a little bit more layers and this side was fine. I was doing something good. Look how good that look. I was like, okay, all right, that looks good. Let me do the other side and right here. Right here is where I messed up. I did that layer too deep and too low. So it just did not match the other side. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I messed it up. I just wanted a few more layers in the front to frame my face. I messed that up. But otherwise, let's talk about the wig. This wig density is definitely, definitely thinner then the color number two and the ginger brown color. I feel like the density goes with the color of the wig, so I'm not complaining. It also feels just a little bit more softer too. I don't know if it's because the color is different, but it's cute. I feel like it's really nice. I love how the roots fade into the color. The lace is blending in nicely with my skin. There isn't a super shine luster on this wig. I like the luster. Um... I didn't mention shedding and tangling with these units. Tangling, I'm not sure about because I just ran my fingers through it with this color. I used the wide tooth comb, but I didn't get any tangling. Shedding, I got super duper low shedding. Only got a few strands of shedding. Nothing crazy, nothing hectic where it's like, oh my God, return to sender. I like how I part the wig. There's no track showing in the back. I like these wigs. I really do. I do wish the other two was a little thinner. I wish the density was like this blonde color. But otherwise, they're really nice and I still recommend, especially if you're into that whole natural texture look with the blowout and the curls. Ooh, it looks so darn good. I like how this one comes pre-plugged. I didn't have to pluck the hairline or the parting space. They did a good job on the sandy blonde color. I'm just so mad I messed up that bang layer in the front. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on my road to 100K. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.